Hey guys, what's going on? This is Wes here again. Alright, so we are going to revisit this subject because uh, there seemed to be a oh, excuse me, there seemed to be a little bit of confusion with uh, what exactly is going on here. Uh, so let me just recap again uh, before I start before I start doing uh, videos on how to how to get this Raspberry Pi set up with you know free tax server mumble server and how to configure your devices and all that stuff before I start getting into all that uh, I just wanted to I wanted to revisit the subject because it seemed to be a little bit confusing okay uh, uh, some some individuals uh, seem to believe that there is ATAC traffic going between here and here through the radio which no not yet uh, there's a there's a plugin that's being uh, developed. Uh, it's called Eric. I'm sure <clears throat> there's been a lot of controversy about that uh, online, uh, especially on Reddit, Facebook, uh, you name it. There's been a lot of controversy about that. Well, let me tell you, it's 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 not fake. It's there. Uh, it's just it's just not a ready product, right? So in the meantime, the way I am, the way I'm bridging ATAC communications here. Uh, for off-grid use is with go tennis I just made a I just made a video earlier yesterday about how these are talking to each other and how uh, a device like this for example uh, receives traffic through the go tennis and then it multicasts that uh, ATAC data up to the server so then you can have a device, just another device, and have that device hook up to the server, just establish an LTE connection to the server, and boom, now that guy can see what's going on with these guys who are off-grid because uh, this device right here is receiving the PLI from the GoTenna to GoTenna, and this device, through its uh, simultaneous connection to TAC server, is also pushing uh, the traffic that he's getting from here but let me talk a little bit just a little bit more about what this is all doing so there's a free tax server running here that's plain and simple there is a free tax server and there is a mumble server this radio right here through its connection to uh, through a sound card connection to the mumble server here what it's going to do is is going to pick up this guy's radio talk and it's going to be received right here and this radio through the APRS cable is going to funnel it into a mumble client that's in here as well so this guy talks this guy receives connection gets inverted here so whatever is being received on this radio is been is being inputted as a mic input in here. So essentially this is the guy transmitting within its own server running inside and now every other device like this one let's say this guy well let's use this one this one is client 3 so client 3 is not connected to anything other than an LTE Wi-Fi connection to the server through zero tier. Zero tier is a great tool because it establishes a direct connection with, you know, it, it helps you it helps you merge a uh, a network, right? So uh, it uh, it keeps you from having to open ports and leaving shit open, uh, you know, exposed like that to, you know, outside of your local uh, network. Uh, I, I personally don't like that, so that's why I go with zero tier. You could use a VPN if you wanted to, but I'm getting sidetracked here with VPNs and all that stuff, right? In this case, we're using zero tier. Uh, so this guy right here connected to zero tier. This guy, what he's going to do is he's going to connect to FreeTAC server here, but he's also going to connect to Mumble server here. The best client that we've found uh, that works uh, pretty well is called is called Mumla. Mumla is uh, it's pretty well supported. Uh, it still gets updates and stuff of that sort. Uh, so, client three over here is on some other remote location, connected to free tax server 
and to uh, mumble server here through zero tier, right? So all these devices basically, uh, let's backtrack, draw a line here. We're gonna draw an imaginary line right here. This is off grid. This is connection to uh, servers here through either Wi-Fi, LTE, whatever. In this case, when I when I deploy this setup, there's essentially going to be a device right here serving as a hotspot. This guy's going to connect to that hotspot. This guy's going to connect to that hotspot. Now I can get a direct connection to the server rather than through a zero tier because I'm I'm within the same network. All right, but this guy being in some other remote location, he's going to need that connection to zero tier, which is besides the point here that I'm trying to explain. Uh, but this guy right here connects to the server, right? To the free tax server running within this Raspberry Pi. This guy right here on completely on a completely remote kit, complete off-grid kit, this guy can use his Gotenna to talk to this Gotenna to talk to this device. This device is then going to forward the location for this device up to the server inside the Raspberry Pi. Now that's that's how ATAC traffic is moving back and forth through the server and out to other clients in this particular setup. And then same thing with radio one here is talking to radio two. Radio two is receiving the transmissions from radio one and it's passing those through the cables into the mumble client here who will, who will then forward the transmissions to the mumble server. Now you can have client over here, random client connected to your network, random client here can connect to both servers in here, mumble server and free tech server and he can monitor voice and he can monitor PLI for these guys on the ground even though these guys are completely off-grid. That is how you're bridging uh, that is how you're bridging a completely off-grid setup here and funnel it through the internet for situational awareness. I don't know, for some, uh, there's organizations out there who happen to have a headquarters located a couple dozen miles away, maybe, I don't know, maybe 20, 30, 50 miles away from the actual area of operations. So a device like this, a setup like this, is going to be able to establish server connections for that headquarters that's sitting somewhere 20, 30, 50 miles behind the line of you know the area of operations and it's going to be able to listen to these guys radio comms and also see where are these guys in relation to the area of operations because there's data communications uh, within ATAC through the GoTennos and then there's also radio comms receiving voice transporting it to the mumble server so now you can see you can see PLIs and you can hear what they're talking out uh, out on the field. So I wanted to sort of explain this again uh, because there seemed to be a little bit of confusion because I didn't add these to the video. All right, so I decided to add those now because that is how the clients are talking. The clients are talking. Uh, the ATAC clients are talking through the Go tennis, not through the radios. All right, it's just the capability that's not that's not fully developed yet, but it's coming. Uh, it should. Uh, based on the uh, Open ATAC, uh, Open TAC conference uh, that happened on Saturday, uh, it should be should be out within the next couple months or so. Uh, so we'll hold off for that. Now, uh, if you were if you were to connect uh, for some reason, you were to uh, you know get that plugin, which is going to be. Uh, it's going to become publicly available, right? Uh, you could make your own cable or you could have whatever setup you'd like, right? But this is how it, it would essentially work. So I'm trying not to get deep into this because the plugin is not out yet. And, you know, this is just going to confuse some people, right? But essentially what the Eric plugin is going to do is it's going to take a radio like this with a cable connected to its audio port, right? And then you're literally just going to connect to the audio jack. Boom. And now that's... This is going to be how you're going to connect. 
Now, all the audio that's coming in and uh, all the ATAC data is going to go through a site plugin that's going to turn it into audio tones, who will then be transported through this cable out through the radio. And then another client over here on with the same cable and whatnot, he'll be able to, uh, you know, he'll be able to receive those audio tones that are coming out of your setup. He'll receive them in there, and then he'll be able to decode them with the same plugin. Uh, he'll be able to uh, decode whatever uh, audio tones are coming into his device. So that's that's what Eric is essentially going to do, is essentially going to turn ATAC traffic into audio tones that are going to be able to, that are going to easily be able to get transported uh, through a radio. Now that's going to be a, that's going to be a pretty neat capability. Uh, it's just a matter of waiting until that capability is, you know, is available to us. Right now it's just not. Uh, so we're just going to hold tight and wait for it to come out. But yeah, that is that is how you know that is how you're going to get uh, off grid comms when we finally get that cool plugin uh, called Eric. Now I'm I'm really hoping that the plugin comes out sooner than later because I want to test the same theory. I want to test to see if this device talking to this device over here is able to uh, receive PLI from this device, catch it in here, and then through its simultaneous connection to the FreeTAC server, I want to see if it's capable of, if this device is capable of multicasting that to the server uh, and create the same setup that we got here with the other tennis. Uh, but that's another story for another time because we don't have the plug-in yet, so we just got to sit here and be patient. But back to this. So you got the server right here who just happens to be on LTE connection. This guy is on LTE connection, but he's also on a go tenor. This guy's completely off grid on airplane mode, but connected to a go tenor. So these go tenors can talk ATAC and then radios can talk voice up to the server. That's long story short what's going on in here. I know I got a little sidetrack with uh, uh, you know the news about Eric and all that stuff but that is essentially how that is essentially how this setup works as of right now. Hopefully in the future we'll get Eric and we'll be able to replace these uh, who are pretty which are pretty proprietary right uh, they only talk to other go tennis so it's kind of, you know, it's kind of uh, limited to what you can do, and uh, essentially what we want to do is we want to be able, you know, we want to be able to eventually to swap these out for actual radios, which is what Eric is going to do. But like I said, we got to sit there and wait. Uh, why? Why do we want an actual radio rather than a GoTenna? Well, this is a one watt. This is a one watt radio, man. This is. This is not the, the most powerful tool out there, and it, you know, its lack of power uh, requires, uh, you know, a better line of sight and stuff of that sort. Uh, deep in the woods, deep in the woods, we're able to get about 500 meters, 600 meters away, uh, you know, uh, out of these. Uh, out in the open, uh, as long as they can see each other, they can talk to each other. So, um, they're, they're pretty neat, and they're, they're pretty much filling a gap that's you know, they're pretty much trying to fill a gap that's there right now that hasn't been filled uh, by anything that's worthwhile for the civilian sector. But, uh, you know, the capability is there. Uh, so, yeah, eventually uh, we'll improve this setup with actual radios. Now, keep in mind, once you once you get a plug-in like Eric, you're going to commit a radio to uh, audio tones coming from ATAC. So that radio is going to be uh, committed uh, straight for uh, you know strictly for voice uh, I mean for for ATAC so you'll you'll end up having to carry another radio just for voice comps I uh, just keep that in mind because uh, you know none of these radios out here have the capability to do data and voice at the same time unless you're looking at some high-speed uh, Motorola kind of radios or p25 kind of radios and I don't I don't know of anyone that just has money laying around uh, for that kind of stuff that's why we're looking at you know we're looking at cost-effective ways of you know getting communications going here uh, with ATAC so
Yes. Again, imaginary line. This is a complete off-grid setup right here. This, these guys can talk over the radio on comms within the team over here. Uh, they can communicate uh, position locations uh, within each other through the GoTennis. And then you have a unit over here that is simultaneously connected to the network so it's able to connect to a uh, FreeTAC server who is forwarding these guys locations pushing up to a pushing them to the FreeTAC server and then same thing is happening with the voice voice gets funneled into a server here now anybody connected to this Raspberry Pi from a remote location uh, doesn't matter if it's 20, 30, 50 miles away uh, shoot a thousand miles away for that matter uh, we conducted a we conducted an experiment here, and I had a I had a a buddy of mine who was uh, connected to my server, watching PLI and listening to Radio Voice all the way from the other side of the country. So uh, we have proven that it works. But yes, essentially, you're taking all these off-grid comps, receiving them in this sort of setup, and pushing them pushing them up to a server that has network connection. Not anybody else uh, can monitor those connections. Uh, that's it, Ben. I uh, just needed to revisit this subject because uh, it seemed to it seemed that it got a little confusing. Uh, ATAC communications through radios, it's coming, man. Just we just got to be patient and wait for the you know wait for the plugin to come out and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, this is it. That's everything in a nutshell. Uh, you'll probably start seeing some uh, some future videos here about how I how I get this uh, this Raspberry Pi uh, set up with all the latest and greatest software that's running in here uh, in there in order to be able to do everything that we're talking about here. Alright? Alright guys, take it easy. Peace.